It's a wig. A wig. Alright you guys, so I'm gonna do this unboxing on camera because I want you guys to see what the wig looks like when you first get it in the mail. Okay, this was shipped via DHL and it got here in about three days I want to say. You get a wig, a strap to sew on yourself and a wig cap. You know, obviously you get the wig, that's what you pay for. Um, this video is sponsored so they sent the wig to be tried on, reviewed, and tested out for you guys. So, this is how the inside of the wig looks. It has adjustable straps. It has three combs, one in the back of the neck and two on the sides, and features a pre-plucked hairline. So, as you can see on the inside, you can kind of see through it and see where the pre-plucked hairline is. All right, from where the hairline starts to the back, yes you get about five inches worth of parting space so i really do like that about it i'm gonna try it on so we could see how it looks with the knots okay all right so it doesn't look the best so yeah so that's what the knots look like up close you know that's my hairline but when you put it like that you can see them just little tiny little black dots there you want those gone you can cover them with foundation if you want to or you can bleach the knots so today I'm going to bleach the knots um, I'll show you guys how I do that okay the lace color itself is fine I'm I'm okay with the lace color if it was a bit lighter I probably would have tinted it with some fabric um, dye but the lace color itself is actually fine so. all right you guys to bleach the knots of the um, lace front unit from Ali Pearl you're going to need bleaching powder developer I get a big bottle but you don't need the huge giant bottle you can get the small bottle if all you're doing is bleaching the knots um, something to mix your bleach in a brush I like the rounded one um, it gets around the curves really easy um, I'll show you what I mean about that soon uh, this is a measuring cup from or a little scoop from another bleaching powder kit that I had but this should come with one if it doesn't come with one use something like this because we're going to use equal parts of powder and developer okay so what we're gonna do is get a scoop dry first and then wet okay so this is a new container I finished my other one see this one comes with a scoop see so they're pretty much the same amount but I like this one because it has like little you know measuring lines on there okay this one doesn't it's just just a scoop um so yeah i went to the beauty supply stocked up on some bleaching powder because some of you guys know i do make wigs that i sell i have a little like a little baby mini wig business going on so i had to stock up on bleaching powder because i ran out and one scoop of the 40 volume cream developer you can use whichever one you like it's cream peroxide this stuff burns so please put gloves on okay and sorry about my dry hands you guys I forever have dry hands I just can't wait for winter to be over I'm just gonna mix it around take your time you don't want this to fly up in the air and breathe it in I'm pretty sure that won't be super healthy and it'll come out like a really nice thick consistency that's kind of how you want it to be you don't want this liquidy and dripping all over the place because what's gonna happen is it's gonna go through your lace and then over bleach your knots where it's just gonna bleach your hair as well so you'll have like this um, bleached root look you know what I mean like if say if you were a blonde and you dyed your hair black and your blonde grew out that's how it would look when you turn this over it should not drip out at all it shouldn't it shouldn't even move it should form very stiff peaks okay you're also going to need a piece of foil okay this is about six inches across and about maybe 12 inches or 10 to 11 12 inches in length okay, guys so once you have your gloves on before you start bleaching anything you see these hairs right here on the hairline you don't want those on the lace because if a little bit of bleach gets on the lace and this hair attaches itself to it it's going to process and you know get light so what you're gonna do is take a spray bottle just lightly spray it and brush the hairs to the back you can even use um, hairspray to make sure everything goes to the back now once you have your wig in position and ready to dye 
We're gonna hold it up like this. And this is the area where we are going to bleach, okay? Do not get bleach on this lace because what it's going to do is weigh it down and pull it inward like this. Okay, so try not to get bleach on that. See, I'm holding the, the lace as I brush down. And there's hairs on the inside of the cap. Probably just came through the lace. All right, but don't worry about that. It's on the inside. It's fine. You could take those out. So hold, brush down, just lightly. You don't have to push it all the way in. It's, it's gonna get where it needs to get out, okay? And because it's not watery, it's not just bleeding through the lace, you know, and running up the hair strands. And make sure you check, okay? Just go over and look and see, make sure, you know, nothing is coming through, okay? Don't, remember, don't push, don't push on the bleach don't push on it just brush and it will get where it needs to get to so you see it's still kind of holding its shape if you had put bleach on this part it would have just folded over like that okay so you want it to hold its shape and I'm gonna turn it around so you guys could see thick but it's also not bleeding on to the hair strands okay all right so now what are we doing with the foil because you can't really wrap it so what I like to do is take the foil, make a little curve with it, right? Put it inside like that. So this is how it looks, just like that. So now you're gonna time it. I like to do 10, 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the type of hair. All right, so my timer just went off and I'm just gonna go and check and see how everything is doing and yeah i think we are ready to wash this out all right i'm gonna put a bit of conditioner on here that is the ren pure um argan oil conditioner i ran out of dove so that's what i'm using today i want to get that into the hair and i'm also going to put it on the knots and you can let this sit in the hair for about 20 minutes and then come back and rinse it out. All right, you guys. So now that I am done with the washing, the wig is still wet. This will be the easiest time for you to, you know, go ahead and customize the hairline using some tweezers. You can use any tweezers you have. It doesn't have to be fancy or anything like that. Um, and just go ahead and take out any knots that are still a bit dark or just look black. Take those out. Okay, that's going to help you knock down the bulk a bit. And then go around the hairline itself to kind of take away that, you know, sharp look because sometimes you know some of these wigs they have that very straight artificial or fake looking hairline you know going on and nobody's hairline is that straight across like that unless you have your baby hairs removed for whatever reason all right so as you can see I'm parting and just going in just taking out some hair just a little bit at a time while combing it out just look at the comb you can see the loose hair collecting in the comb and don't take out too much okay you won't be able to put it back in all right you guys so now that we are done with the process of bleaching the knots on a unit plucking and washing and conditioning and all of that stuff I want to show you guys how the unit looks so this is the hair fully dried I let her air dry all day the curls well the waves the deep waves and curls slash curls look so much better now than they did when they first came out the box just so you guys could see, when a wig comes directly out of a box, it doesn't always look like the picture. You're going to have to put some work in, okay? Especially with these deep wave curly units, sometimes you have to wash them before you wear them so it can actually look like the picture. All right, and as far as the hairline you guys saw, I had to bleach the knots because the knots had all those little black dots on it. Um, I'm going to show you now how she looks. 
very different than um, when I first got it out of the box and I first tried it on. I'm going to go ahead and try her on. I am going to use the wig caps that came with the wig in the box. You have long hair, thick hair, try to get it all the way to the back of the neck, all the way to the bottom and tuck it in you know as much as you can without cutting the actual hair and now that the knots are bleached you know you have to really really look or else you can cut the hair and you don't want that i don't have lace tint okay i tried to look on amazon for it and i could not find it on amazon so i'm just gonna have to go on a little beauty supply store adventure like this weekend i went to the beauty supply store i went there to pick up um bleach that i used today and that's pretty much all that i needed just bleach and then i was like oh i'll just get some you know some some hair color some toners and stuff like that and yeah I, pubs had to come in and asked me what the heck am I doing <laughs> you know I had him and the kids waiting in the parking lot while I was just like a kid in a candy store just running around the store with my basket just tossing stuff in there like throw it in the bag you know you know what I mean remember that song that's that's what I was doing but I had a budget but I'm over there just spending all willy-nilly like no girl <laughs> put her on by the way, easy to put on, very, very comfortable fit. Very comfortable. All right, you guys, so this is how she looks, okay? You can definitely still see the lace, so I would definitely use some powder or something to make that blend in. I didn't really put a part in it. I'm just gonna do a side part right here. This will kind of show you the knots and how it looks. So I'm gonna use a bit of this Magical Mousse. It's, it's uh, you can find this in the beauty supply. It just says foam and BB on it. So, or wrapping lotion. Never had that procedure done before. But, oh, it smells nice. I don't want any of my hair out. So I just wanna, you know, see how she looks. Um, there is some shedding, just so you know. And when I was washing it, I had some shedding. Because the goal is for this to look like the picture on the site. And you guys can go to the link, look at the picture, and see if this looks like the picture. Alright, so that's how she looks. I want to glue her down now, just so I can have a better, you know what I mean? Better experience here. So I'm going to pull it back a bit. Use my got to be spray. Okay, this is the got to be free spray. So, oh. oh. All right, you guys, so fan that Leonard dry. Do my do. I'm actually using my contour powder to do this. Okay. You see, it's it's helping make it look more natural. You don't want to use your contour powder. You can use your face powder. Okay. And just jiggle that in there. So this is the back of the unit. Complete different like 360 from what it looked like when I took it out of the box Okay, has a really nice pre plug hairline, but you should customize it yourself and bleach the knots If you want to if you don't want to you can always use a little bit of powder and that will just make it all better Okay, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give this video a thumbs up comment down below So hopefully you guys get to see my video before this one or after this one I have something planned for you in that video. So yeah, hopefully you can be a part of it. All right, I love you guys, and I'll see you all very soon. Don't forget Ali Pearl information to this unit down below in the description box. Love you guys.